So this is a crank arm issue, in particular left hand crank, in particular Shimano with its pinch bolts. Now the issue is, with a 5mm Allen key you tighten them and loosen them, is that you strip the Allen key head inside on the bolt. So that means you can't take the crank off or you can't tighten it hard enough. Now it must be a fairly common issue because we've had three riders down here locally have this problem. One guy about a year ago is riding up a small hill and his crank arm just wobbled, wobbled, and it came off, and it was still clipped in to his shoe, and there it was dangling. So he, uh, he did admit that he tried to tighten one of the bolts up, and the head stripped on the bolt, and he couldn't tighten it up. And, well, he went for a ride anyway and suffered the consequences. So you must have these at the right torque setting, nice and tight, so the crank arm doesn't come off. Now the other issue is, in particular, with this guy here, so with this rider, he couldn't get his left hand crank off. He wanted to replace his bearings, but he couldn't get his crank arm off. So, he's given it to me. Now he got the uh, bolt closest to the bottom bracket out, and here it is here. That's okay, that's fine. But the outside bolt, with his 5mm Allen key, stripped the head, so he couldn't get a 6mm Allen key in there, too big, so he tried an imperial size, sort of in-between size. Bash, 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 with the hammer on the allen key, try and get it to fit in, spread the head a bit more, try to turn it and strip the head even more, made it, the flange uh, even wider. So the next thing he did was get a large flat head screwdriver, hold it central, bash, 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 try and make a big imprint on there, and you know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but he butchered that up, and that spread the flanges even more, started damaging the aluminium cranker's body as well. So now he's in trouble, he couldn't get his crank off. So what he did then, he used a hacksaw. Now you see you've got a slot here in your crank. So he got his hacksaw and very carefully, without cutting his frame, <laughs> very carefully cut that bolt in half and he managed to do it, which got his crank arm off. I can get off. So he got the crank arm off and here it is. So now his next problem is, he's got the bolt head stuck in one side and on the other side he's got the thread. Now you probably can't see that, but it's the bolt head's jammed in there. It's pretty butchered. I'll see if I can give you some close-ups there or here. <laughs> so he's butchered the head off, uh, head up in there, and that won't come out. So because it's all munched up and so it's held itself in there. And there's no thread holding it in. So essentially you should be able to either pull it out with some needle nose pliers or get through the th take the thread out the other end and put a small punch through and just taps out, just pushes out but the thread stuck in this end, so he couldn't do that. So we've got the head stuck in there and the thread as well. So what we're gonna do now is see if we can get it out. Now, I'm gonna to go to the hardware store and one of my friends there who works in the, uh, the machinery, no, the tools department, he's a really cool guy, and he comes up with some ideas. So we'll see, there it is, it's loose, but it's not coming out. So he's gonna see if he can help us as well. So here we are at the hardware store, and the first thing to do is take the head and the first half of the bolt out. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. A pair of good quality, slightly larger needle nose pliers did that really well. And there's the bolt head out. Now to remove the thread, we used a special tool. So this is called a quick hinge mate, or a hinge, hinge centering drill. So here it moves, that moves down, can't see it very well. Where is it? There it is. And the drill bit's exposed and that doesn't move. Drilled something. Good old. Mm. After drilling, rather than use a smaller easy out, which can snap off in the thread, we used a slightly larger easy out. A bit painful, but... When it succeeds, though, it's a great sigh of relief. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's a sense of achievement. Yeah, it? that's it. Sense of achievement. <laughs> He's got it. Go, go, you got it. <laughs> Here you can see how large the easy out actually is. And once it started grabbing on that thread, well, it just easy out of the thread. Hmm. What was after today? <laughs> oh, no, Bill, I haven't got it. No. Ta da! Look so we got the little piece out. There's the little mongrel. <laughs> 
and we've now got clear holes but just to make sure we're going to run a tap through there so that it's nice and clean nice clean thread of metal and stuff stuck in there yeah just That's, to make sure that, that should wind in nicely now So back from the hardware store and we got the bolt out. That's the head and the thread if you can see it. So that's very good. Um, now we ran a tap through the threads, make sure they're nice and clean and straight so now the rider can use his crank again. Now there's a couple of ways of doing it before I tell you how we did it. Is you can get a drill and just drill the centre of the thread. Now keep bear in mind these bolts are stainless steel which is very hard. And with a drill bit it's got a tendency, if you're not holding the drill dead straight, like with a drill press and you've got your crank maybe in a jig so it's nice and central. If you're just using a hand drill, it can go sideways. It usually does. The drill bit wants to sort of go sideways. So when you put your easy out in, you can only use a certain size easy out and then it starts to hit the walls of the thread. So what happens is you can quite often easily break the snap, snap off the easy out inside the thread. <laughs> then you're in more trouble. So you, what you need to do is drill that hole nice and central and then you'd be right. The other way is a reverse drill bit so as you're drilling in, in reverse with your drill it pulls the thread out, and winds it, pulls it out. Now that's the same sort of situation. If that works good, if it doesn't, now this is the way we did it. We've got this little thing here. Now carpenters usually use these. It's called a quick bit hinge mate. So with hinges on doors and cupboards, they've got the holes already in the hinge. Now this thing has got a drill bit inside it. I don't know if you can see it. And as you press, it centralizes itself in the little bevel in the hinge there. And as you drill, the hole's dead center of the hole in your hinge there. So, now same with the crank arm. You've got a hole there already, and as you put this on there, it's a little bevel on the end, it centers itself in the middle there of the hole and as you drill in, it will drill nice and central on the thread that's stuck in, in the crank there. So that's what you want and the reason is, if it's nice and central, you can use a larger drill bit. A larger drill bit means you get a larger easy out in there and that's good because there's less likelihood of it pulling out and you've got more strength as well to unwind it. That's the way we got it out with a slightly larger easy out by using this little tool here, so they're really good to use. Get one for your workshop, very handy because you never know when you might want to take the bolts out. Now that's the way I recommend you do it. If you do get a bolt that's stuck in there for some reason, try and get one of these things. Quick bit hinge mate, so it's a quick bit hinge mate. And then you're guaranteed to get it out with no troubles. If you do snap off an easy out in there, you will be in trouble. Um, what you could do, I suppose, if you can get the head out the other end, is you can probably get a small uh, punch, and then punch, a very small one, and punch the easy out out of the thread, and then you'll have to start again with another easy out, because you've broken that one, it's going to cost you more money, and maybe drill a bigger hole if you can, but you probably can't, because you've now gone sideways, so good luck. <laughs> but please, keep that in mind, it's going to save you money just buying that little thing there. And it's going to work. And this method can be used on pretty much any bolt on your bike, from head stems, suspension forks, your shoe cleats, brake disc bolts, seat post area, and the most common of all is the water bottle cage screws. Any other screws that get stuck as well, you can use it on them. Koala on the road. <laughs> no big one. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack George is going to get you. I wonder why I like some nibble socks. No, they put a fungus on there. <laughs> Last person sat those guys died. <laughs> <laughs> Must be something in there. <laughs> <laughs>